Hey, how's it going? How's it going, man? These are different. Tell me what you got. Well, here I brought you two Russian Cossack Shashka swords. I have to be honest with you, man. Pretty much the only thing I know about Russia comes from Rocky IV. There we go. What I mean, Drago was a beast. <laughs> I'm at the pawn shop today, so my Russian Cossack Shashka swords. I got these swords from an estate sale not too long ago. These swords are in great condition. They have really beautiful engravings on the handle and really intricate handle work, as well as really interesting markings on the blade. I'm asking $2,000 for each sword. I know my price, and I'm not going to budge too much. These are actually really kind of crazy. I mean, it has the hammer and sickle on it. So, I mean, they're at least post-World War I. Yes, sir. You have the whole communism thing. You know, the Cossacks, they were a big deal back in the day. They were a military organization that were loyal only to the Tsar. I mean, they were a huge part of Russia's expansion in the 17th century. You know, as far as their military goes, I know that they were pretty, I mean, they were pretty badass. These have been banned by the Geneva Convention. You're not allowed to put these on a gun anymore. Really? Oh, the bayonet? Yeah, the way they're spiked like this, you know, with the multiple sides instead of just a knife. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they would go in you, they would make like a little star hole in you. It wasn't a medic that could sew it shut. Yeah, war was brutal back then. So what are you looking to get for them? Um, I'm looking to get 2,000 apiece. So 4,000? Yes, sir. OK, um, they're, they're pretty cool. Like, I know that they have like a really, really rich history. I just don't know much about Russian history at all. And it's something I probably should. So I have somebody that can come down and take a look at them and have him help me out. Of course, I'm excited. Hang out, I'll be back as soon as I can. Sounds good. I am confident that these swords are worth a lot of money. I'm really excited for an expert to come in and tell me what I have here and tell me what it's worth. I feel kind of stupid because I know absolutely nothing about Russian military history. Well, these are interesting. These are shashkas. It is a type of long-bladed weapon it was picked up by the Cossacks by the 18th, 19th century. You know, if you were a Russian horseman, this was the weapon that you had. But these are not Russian. These are Soviet Union. So these are post-World War I. These are military issue shashkas. And what they did is they added a Moisin Nagant bayonet to them. I mean, it sounds completely like a Russian idea to put a sword on your sword. Yeah, it, it, it is. Now, do you mind if I take a closer look? Knock yourself out. When you look at any sword, you look at all of the fittings, you look at all of the castings, you check to see whether they look as they should. What do you think? What I have to tell you is that what we have here is an interesting mix. The bayonets are right. They are Moisin Nagant bayonets, probably because there are hundreds of thousands of those out there. But the blades and the sheaths are, I think, reproductions. What I'm seeing on these, the way these are made, the markings, they're not as well done. And the blade in this one is artificially aged. The blade in the shorter one is not aged at all. So the shashkas are reproductions. They're, they're modern. Sorry about that, but it's good to good. take a look at it. It happens. Appreciate it. Not a problem. So you heard what Mark had to say. I mean, they are kind of interesting. I don't really have a use for the swords, man. They're, they're reproductions. I was going to kind of have to pass on the whole deal. Well, I appreciate you taking the time, man. Take care. Thanks so much. Uh, since I didn't sell my swords today, I think they do look really cool, so I think they'll make some great wall hangers at my house.